Okay, here we're working for our second related rates question. And again, a little bit more complicated than the usual starter problems, but here we go. A paper cup has the shape of a cone with height 10 centimeters, that's about four inches, and radius three centimeters at the top. If water is poured into the cup at a rate of two cubic centimeters per second, how fast is the water level rising when the water is five centimeters deep? Well, is this a related rates question? I think so. Right? Water is being poured at a rate of 2 cubic centimeters per second. That's certainly a rate. It, it even has the units for it. And then they ask, how fast is the water level rising, which is a different rate. So this is absolutely a related rates question. So I want to start going and start solving this the way we usually solve them. And here we go. Um, first thing I'm supposed to do is draw a picture. Uh, um, Going to draw a pretty big picture and come up with the equation that maybe erase the picture, but we'll see. Right. So here's our picture. There's our cup, which is now huge. What do we know? We know that this is 10 centimeters, and we know that this is six centimeters, um, and we know it's being filled with water. I don't have the water level yet. Yes. So what I'm going to do is just draw something like this, and I'm going to put water level like this. Now, they did ask me um, how fast is the water level rising when, when the water level is five. Um, I don't want to label this five, because if I label that five, that says the water level is never changing, so I'm not allowed to do that. So what I'm going to do is call this H, and I'm going to put a little five over here saying eventually I'm going to put in five. Um, now have we actually had enough to do this? Well. They I start writing stuff as a rate. They gave us two cubic centimeters per second. Now, is that how fast H is changing or nothing? It's not. That's actually cubic centimeters measure volume. So if I want to write this as a derivative, this is going to be D, definitely T, and then V on top like that. So that's the rate they gave us. The second thing is they asked for a rate. They said, how fast is the water level rising? Well, how fast the water level rising isn't how fast that thing right there is changing. It's how fast H is changing. So what they really want is dH dt, like that. Now, the third thing we're supposed to do, and this is going to be a little bit more work here, is that uh, we want an equation involving just the two variables. Well, we know the volume of a cone. It's volume equals one third pi r squared h, which by the way, if you haven't seen it before, we'll be done using calculus. Um, the problem is if I take the derivative of both sides with respect to t now, I'm gonna have to know dr dt. And um, I don't know anything about r, right? So what we have to do actually is get rid of the r somehow and then take the derivative. So what I'm going to do is to just erase my little things here and see if we can't uh, figure out r. Now what, how are we going to figure out r? We are going to use similar triangles. Right? So this little triangle here, this little one right here, and the big one right here are similar. They, they both have a right angle here. They both have the same angle here. That's enough to be similar. Now, how do we use similar triangles when we're solving problems? Um, usually what I like to do is say little over little equals big over big. So for example, this little vertical height divided by this little horizontal height, like this, is equal to the big vertical height, which is 10, divided by the, little hor the big horizontal height, which is 6. And remember, we're trying to solve for r. So when I solve for r, r goes over there, 6 tenths over goes over there. What I'm going to get is 3 fifths h, which means as the water is filling this up, r will always just be 3 fifths of h. Now let me put this in over here. I guess I want to write v again. I'm not a vegan. I just said v again. I have 1 third. I have pi. I have 3 fifths h quantity squared times h. I'm going to want to take the derivative of that, and so I'm going to want to simplify that a little bit um, before I actually start going to a derivative. So this is going to be, let's see here, I'm going to get 
Um, nine on top and three on bottom, so a three survives, and a pi survives, and a 25 is still there, um, and h cubed, like that, and that is my formula for v. Now I think that's actually where the hard work stops, I think. I want to make sure I leave this here because I'm going to need that. I know that v is equal to this, I'm going to need this. And so what I'm going to do is at the moment just erase my picture at the top. If I need it back I'll just have to recreate it. Uh, so I'm going to go back up the top and I'm going to write down v equals 3 pi over 25. Just checking here. And the water level, okay. Yep, I'm good. <laughs> uh, let's see here, times h cubed. Now I want to take the derivative with respect to t of both sides. And I should write that down so people know what's coming. Like that. Here we go. The derivative of the left hand side, the derivative of v, is just dv dt. Now, if you don't like not using the chain rule, you can say, look, I, what I have is the derivative of blob. Well, the derivative of blob is 1. Well, the derivative of v is 1 times the derivative of v, right? So if you want to put a little 1 over there, you can. Um, I'm not going to. Um, the derivative of the right hand side, well, the 3 pi over 25 is a coefficient, so it goes along for the ride. The 3 comes down, so this is the derivative of. 3 pi over 25 times blob cubed, it's going to be, I'm going to get 9 pi over 25 times blob squared times the derivative of the blob. Now the question is, um, do we have enough now to be able to answer the question? Well, we're supposed to be solving for dhdt, so what I'm going to do is solve for dhdt and I hope I haven't erased so much that I can't figure out what's left. So here we go. I'm solving for dhdt. dhdt. Equals dv dt, which we know, times 25 over 9 pi, which is OK, times 1 over h squared. Here we go. We were told that the volume was changing at the rate of two cubic centimeters per second. So this is just two. I'm happy about that. This is going to be 25. This is going to be nine pi. One over h squared. Well, um, at the time we're interested, h is five. Yes, h was five. So what I'm going to do is at the time we're interested, I'm going to put one over 25. And I get cancel, I get cancel, I'm going to get uh, 2 over 9 pi, um, which is about 2 27 that's less than a tenth, that's pretty slow. What are the units? Well, the units should be whatever the, the derivative tells me. The, the units on the bottom should be in seconds. The units on the top are how we're measuring, what we're measuring the height in, and that would be centimeters. And that is our next related race question.